Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to analyze a VB script based malware dropper. The script is quite easy to analyze. It has its own quirks, which I will show you. I will also show you how I use Python to make the analysis easy. So let's dive in. So here I am in my virtual machine. I have this VB script document called leaseagreement.vbs. Let me open this folder in Visual Studio Code and let me start working on this. All right, so when we look at this document, we can quickly see that there is some basic level of obfuscation and confusion going on. So we will try to remove all these characters which are not used. So let's start from the top. Firstly, let me make a copy of this document as well. And let me rename this to Ash original and in this document I will clean this and this and I will try to remove all these lines Ctrl C Ctrl V and um, backslash N Let me see which document this is. So I will not touch the original document. I will only make the changes in the document that I am working in. So this is okay. All right, so these changes are completed and those characters are, and the lines are gone. Let me just clean up the script a bit more. All right. Now, if we see carefully, we can see that that there is some execution here. Then there is an if and end if. Then there is a function here. Then there is an end function here. Another function, end function. And then the rest of the script execution. In order to make it simple to see, I can move all this text below the functions because VB script executes top to bottom, left to right. So these commands will execute like this and we should be good. After this, we can see the strange functions, right? We have this function call and then we have this execute on GB, GZ, whatever, which looks like a string. So this is what I call string based API execution or string based method execution. This is something quite unique in VB script, which I've seen. So I will use Python to try to automate this. I will firstly make a copy of this document in Python. So let me create a new document called decode.py. This I will copy this. And after that, I will start, choose this. I will start creating those functions properly. So this function will be define. So we'll go away and function is gone. Instead of the execute, we will write print g. Dim is gone. So I'm just basically converting a VB script based function to a Python function. So this is done as well. Instead of the execute, we are going to do a print on G. This is also okay. Now I will start converting the rest of the script. These three things are not needed. Instead of the script name, let me put here C colon backslash script dot VBS. And this is also gone. Here we have the first method execution. And after that we have this whole thing going on. 
what I will do is that let me work step by step to uh, understand the functions first. So I will comment this code out and I will use command slash to comment out this code. And let's run this code. After running this code, we should see that dyppal, this function will tell us what is this exact string that is being executed. Okay, so it's executing string reverse on this string. We can do that in Python very easily. So string reverse in Python would be return firstly, return g b minus one. And then there is no need for this print here. Okay, the next command we have is um, LFW whatever it is checking in str ZQ whatever in uh, ZQ contains LF which means the ZQ which is the string pa uh, let me copy this so it's and comment it out all right so I will comment this out just so we know what this is so it's basically using the script full name and inside this it is looking for we can read this reverse which is start up so it is looking for startup in this which means that which means something and and what is happening here is that if it finds this startup in this string it sets the value of lf cug to greater than one and if it does not find this it will keep the value zero if the value is zero then it is going to copy this file the current file to c colon backslash users environment username and then app data roaming microsoft startup d dot vbs so basically what it does is that it is checking whether the script path or the script is executing from the startup folder if it's not executing from the startup folder it will go ahead and copy this file to the startup folder of the current user and then execute the powershell command on the script we do not need to do this. We can just move on and uh, go ahead with our normal uh, decoding. So I will remove this dim. TCOS is fine. This dim is not needed. And this is fine. So we have the second function execution here. K, N, M, P, and H. So let's try to understand this. Another thing is that, yeah. Um, so in VB script and percent is used for concatenation, but in Python plus is being used. So I will replace that character as well. Let's do that. So and percent is going to be replaced with plus and I will do this only in decode.py. All right, so this is done. And after that, this function is getting executed. Once this function will get execute, it will tell us what this function exactly does. So we are good. In str is not there, let me just comment it out. And we can see that CXLXHR is basically a replace function and it replaces in this is the main string and inside the string it will find this string and replace it with this. So I can create this in Python as well. So let's do that. Let me comment out this print and say return CEQ dot replace 
4g comma pk all right so we are done we have replicated both these functions and we have this value we can try to print this value as well kn let's see what we get and we can see that this returns something reversed all right so i think i made a mistake here instead of the the string getting reversed i have reversed the function so let me try this again all right so now we see this command right we can see that uh, this what looks like a base 64 character set is coming out of it so that is okay the next thing that we have to do is we continue with the script execution over here it is creating an http object it is running a get command on this url and then it's sending something and after that it's executing empty i don't care about this we need to make sure that clad is not being used anywhere so let's find if we have clad being used anywhere so clad is being used and basically a response text is basically reused from there so let me remove this clad from here and i will just say c2 response text right so we are good here and here this powershell command is basically taking this hhodp so we can reuse this as well let me take this and run a print function on this and we have we should have the final command which is getting executed so the final command is this edit copy let me create a new document called pwsh underscore cmd dot txt just for us to understand what is going on so we put this here and let's do word wrap semicolon semicolon so basically it's creating um, a variable codigo here and inside this codigo variable it is replacing this skull and bones character with b capital b and then it so let's try to first execute this and see what happens much 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 later so while i will open up the terminal and copy this code so code go and this paste anyway and the text that we are looking for is this So we can see now that this is the exact code that we have received which is going to be executed by PowerShell and what it is doing is that it is using the C2 response obviously this is the text that that was downloaded by the script here by the script here this c2 is currently down so i cannot get this text but let's just follow this along so in this text it is going to replace these characters this email and this plain character with a and then after that it is going to load this byte array get type 
of this class one library dot class one dot method dot invoke and then it is going to invoke this with this method gkskzw with sending this reverse order string so i think now we have extracted the last of the powershell um, currently this co command and control was down so i was not able to get the c2 response to extract the whole string but i hope it is clear for you guys how we can analyze sort of easy vb script based malware dropper so thank you very much for your time i hope to see you in the upcoming videos